How Do You Say I Love You, Dewey Do, written by Leslie Stubb, illustrated by Jeff Mack. Be still. I can't turn the page. All right. Click, clack, waddle, waddle, dot, dot, dewey, do from planet 872.9 was starting to love life on Earth, except he could not pronounce the word love. Love, his mother said sweetly. Hmm, this page is harder to turn. Hoo, he repeated, trying his hardest. Love. He, she said slowly, Wubba, he said, Wubba, Wubba, Wubba. I hargle the English language. I know it's hard, Dewey, his mother said, but it's not right to hargle, not in any language. Easy for her to say. She didn't have to go to school with Brutus Aurelius. Of the second grade, Hergel Glop, Dewey said as he climbed into bed. Don't worry, you'll get it. She shoo shoo tana watu, she Which said. Which means I love you. And it sounded like honey and birds' wings and safety and singing. He loved her too. But the next day, there was Brutus Aurelius. Hey, wubba boy. How do you say Dumbo in Alien? Dewey's Ertle Ertle tightened. His eyeballs squeezed. Blue black smoke rose dangerously from his hork. Hork? I get the ball thing on top of his head. Just as he was about to go orbital, his friends Melissa and JJ came up beside him. Dewey took a deep breath and counted to Flork and decided not to blow. His language is called a T N, not alien, Melissa said. Yeah, JJ added. So sure Shurishglit. So Shurishglit Udius. Which, by the way, means be quiet, you big bully in a T N. Fortunately, Brutus Aurelius did not know that. Back in Miss Bright Sun's first grade class, things were ute until Dewey. Will you please read this word? Miss Bright Sun asked. Well, Dewey said under his breath. A few classmates started to laugh. Oh, 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 Melissa said, raising her hand. The word is love, and Dewey is tired of being teased. Yeah, J.J. added. Dewey blushed bright green. His shoulders slumped. His heart went glunk. He wished he could disappear. Air well, earthings. I am uta ear. But that night, he had an even better idea. Early the next morning, Dewey went straight to Miss Bright Sun's classroom so he could ask her a question without anyone else around. Happy Valentine's Day, class, Miss Bright Sun said. Dewey has something wonderful to share with us. With help from his friends, Dewey unrolled his big paper roll on it in amazing Curly Q, curly Q letters. I don't think I've ever colorful. heard that word. Colorful. No, curly Q letters. Oh. The twisties. Were the words I love you in ATN with the English underneath. Dewey, Miss Brightson asked, Will you please tell the class how I love you is said on planet 872.9? She shoo shoo tanawatu, he said, and it sounded like honey and bird's wings and courage and singing. She shoo shoo tanawatu, he repeated. It sounded like wanting and flowers and kindness and hoping 
It sounded so funny, wonderful, that the whole class wanted to try it. It was hard at first. She tu tu ba ba wa ba. She shu shu to tu ba wa wu ba. But soon the air was filled with a sound like honey and birds, wings and sweetness and singing. By the end of the day, everyone in the whole school was saying it. Even Brutus Aurelius. Me, boo, boo, wa, wa, ba, ba, e, ooh, ooh, ba, ba, ah, choo. It didn't sound quite like honey or bird's wings or singing or anything. But nobody minded. Because as their voices blended together, it was impossible not to wonder if maybe, just maybe, even Brutus Aurelius of the second grade might someday live on a planet where the air is filled with a sound like honey and bird's wings and courage and caring and no one ever ever gets teased she shoo shoo tanawatu planets she shoo shoo tanawatu stars she shoo shoo tanawatu you whoever wherever whatever you are i love you the end